Welcome to the Fit Marriage Kitchen. Today you're going to be joining us as we make crock pot tamale pie. I've already ground, browned a pound of ground beef, so I'm just going to go ahead and add that in to the crock pot. It's going to go on the bottom here. Nice one pound of ground beef. Then I've got my can of black beans already drained and rinsed. That's going in. We have one can of fire roasted diced tomatoes with chilies. And one can of whole kernel corn that has already been drained. So this is all getting mixed together. To that I'm going to add a quarter cup of chopped onion. Half a cup of shredded cheese, whatever your cheese preference is. This is a Monterey and a cheddar blend. So that's going to get mixed in. And then I have a tablespoon of taco seasoning or chili powder and a teaspoon of ground cumin. And you want to mix all of this in together. Because once we put the tamale topping on here, you're not going to be able to mix it again. So really make sure to take the time so that all of your spices are evenly distributed. So this is just going to make this nice, really yummy, hearty filling for your tamale pie. And next we're going to show you how to make the uh, cornbread topping. So we have our tamale pie filling already in the crock pot. It's time to make the cornbread topping. We've got three quarter cup of cornmeal that we're going to add to our mixing bowl, one and a quarter cups of a baking mix. Now my baking mix already has baking powder in it. If your baking mix does not have baking powder, you're going to want to add one teaspoon of baking powder. A cup of milk, we use coconut milk. A quarter cup of sugar and one large egg. So this is all going to get mixed together. You want to get all the lumps out. This is going to be your cornmeal topping for your tamale pie. And it's just, you can see here, it's getting that nice yellow cornbread look to it. You want to make sure all the clumps are out of the bottom. Spin the bowl a few times. Now this is going to go right on top of this, the meat mixture, meat and bean mixture. And so you're just going to take your bowl, bring it over the top, and you're just going to scoop it out. And I actually have a spatula here, just to make it easy and get all that goodness out of the bowl. And then I'm just taking the spatula and smoothing it out over the meat and bean mixture. It's going to make a little crust on the top here. A little breading. Let's just smooth it all out. Get it all off the spatula so you don't waste any of it. Okay, then we're going to put the lid on our crock pot. This is going to be good to go. It can cook for six to eight hours. Um, I would check it at six hours just to see if your crust is ready and enjoy. We'll see you at dinner time. Welcome back. We're just about ready to serve up the tamale pie. It actually cooked in about four and a half hours, so I've had it on warm. And so this is what it looks like when it's all cooked in your crock pot. Now I'm just gonna break through the cornbread crust here. You can see where that's, and then you've got a nice, tamale pie you can see you've got the mixture of the bean and the cheese with the corn and tomatoes and then you've got the cornbread um, breading on top you can pair that with a side of your favorite salsa if you want to have a um, little side of green salad to go along with it just to get some more greens into it and there you've got your crock pot tamale pie enjoy